It's been a hot minute or mm -hmm. two. But we are back. Well, not we. This channel is back, back by popular demand. And better than ever. Not really popular demand, just their demand. But it. What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Hello, everybody. It's me, Lauren Gardner. We're back with glasses. It's like longer hair. Life has changed so much. My cousin Kira lives with us now. So this is Kiki. She is not a mute. She can talk. <laughs> Hi. Um, and yes, this channel is starting up again by popular demand. Was it popular? I mean, like... Just a demand. Alright, Lauren, I think you should explain to all the people about your leave of absence. Yes. Yes. So, um, the past couple months, you know, you know, life comes in seasons, um, and life, I get went through a season of kind of like a lot of change, a lot of growth, and a lot of just like different kinds of trials. And so life got really wild, and I kind of had to step back from a lot of different things. But in those couple months, God taught me so much, like so much. It's crazy. And so I'm super excited to share all that with you over the next couple weeks. Um, it's going to be pretty crazy. Yeah, we're like, set till May. We're set until... Kira knows. <laughs> Kira knows what's up. We, like, um, yeah, like, the beginning of this, like, the past videos, like, they were cute. Like, they were cute. They were sweet. Like, you know, there were some good lessons in there. But, like, it's about to get real. It's about to get deep. Deep. It's about to go down. <laughs> okay, so that's a really brief explanation of why I've been missing from a lot of things you normally would see me at, but if you stay tuned, you will learn where I've been and why I've been there and what I learned while I was there. <laughs> that was super ambiguous and kind of weird. But yeah, okay, let's dive into what we're talking about this week. Okay, so this week, it's kind of like a starter video intro, not really, but like, it's like, all the other videos are going to kind of point back to this video and like how I continue to live how I talk in this video. You'll understand that more at the end, but today I want to talk about victory and more specified, more specifically, more specifically, <laughs> more specifically talk about victory in Christ and like in the cross and what that means and how we can live that out in our daily lives. So back in like around February time, I kind of looked at my life and was like, God, like I need to like get it all together again. Like I, I can't, I can't live the rest of my life like this. And, um, God, like, kind of just kept showing me in, like, different ways. Like, the word victory just kept popping into my head. Like, I wrote it down my arm one night because it just, like, hit me in the face, kind of. And then, like, it would just be in, like, all the worship songs we'd sing at church or, like, that, like, would come on, like, on my phone. Or, like, it would be, like, in all the songs that I would read. It was, like, wild. Like, so, like, I, like, was, like, okay, God, like, I see, I see you, like, victory. You want me to live, like... You want me to obtain victory, like, you want me to obtain victory over my depression, over my circumstances, over my temptations, like, that's what you want for me. Okay, like, I'll, I'm gonna, like, try to do that. And so, like, I would work really hard, like, every day, like, I'd pray and I'd read my Bible and, like, I would try to, like, win my own victory over those things. And then... Are you following the story so far? I am. Does this make sense? Okay, Kira's here to tell me if I'm talking too much and if what I'm saying is it makes sense. So, I'm really excited because I feel like I jabber a lot. <laughs> Jib doesn't matter. So, yes. So, I was just striving to, like, uh, reach this victory. And I kept falling short. Uh, like, I would still wind up sad. I would still wind up just, like, doing things that weren't beneficial to me. I just, like, I couldn't reach this victory. And then because I couldn't reach this victory that I was trying so hard to get because I wanted to live how God wanted me to live, I just, like, it would make me more sad. And it was just kind of, like, a vicious circle. And then, one day, driving, Tyler Choi to hockey practice. Shout out to Tyler. Shout out to the Eagles. Um, <laughs> God kind of just, like, like, I just heard his voice in my head. And he was just like, Lauren. I'm like, God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he was like, I didn't want you to, like, reach your own victory. I wanted you to live in my victory, in the victory of the cross. Like, I already won this all for you. And I was just like... Like, my mind was blown. Like, it was such... 
Like, the answer was right in front of me the whole time, but I didn't realize it. That, like, Jesus, when he died on the cross and went to hell and then rose again, he already defeated my depression. He defeated my circumstances. He defeated my temptations. He defeated everything that was holding me down. And I just had to choose to focus on that and live in that and truly believe that. And I would be set free from all those things. I'm losing my voice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, I think you should explain, like, what you mean. Like, you said that you heard God, but, like, mm. you didn't actually hear him say, Hey, Warren, what's up? Like, I'm... I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's a good point. Yeah, so, like, God's voice isn't, like, a big, booming voice, and he's never gonna... Like, well, that's not true. Never. He could do that anytime he feels like it. But his voice is normally just, like, that pull at your heart or when like you just like realize something so like when I heard that like it was in my own voice like I just like kind of like was driving and I heard myself say like you're supposed to live from God's victory like from his victory on the cross but like that's not something like I especially like in the state of mind I was in when like this was all like kind of going down like it wasn't something I was ever going to say to myself or something I was ever going to realize and so like that's how I was like okay like God like I hear you and so like yes God's voice do you hear my voice going? I do. Is God's, God's voice is usually, like, it's not usually in, like, some foreign voice. It's usually in your own voice. And it's that still small voice that, like, it just is not something you would think of or you would know on your own. Okay. So, like, now I'm sure from a lot of you it sounds really good. Like, living in Jesus' victory, like, yes, like, oh, no. <laughs> Something just popped up. We're fine. Um... <laughs> Like what, but like, uh, like, what does that mean? Or like, how the heck do you actually do that? And like, honestly, truthfully, that's something I'm still like figuring out every day. Um, but this is what I've learned. Living in Jesus's victory means living in what he did for you on the cross. So like, what he did for you on the cross is that he died for you. He took your sins. He took everything that you ever have to struggle against. And he literally like took them to hell. Like they are like there. Like, that's where they are, like, stuck there. And then he rose from the dead, and then he put his power, like, his unlimited power inside you, which is known as the... Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Living in victory is a decision you have to make every day. You can't make it one time and just be like, all right, I made it, I'm gonna, like, it's good. No, like, every morning I wake up and I have to say, okay, God, like, when I pray, I'm like, help me to live in your victory today. And I have to decide that every morning, right when I wake up, that I'm going to live in God's victory. And if I don't make that decision, then pretty easily and pretty quickly into my day, the world will just find a way to drag me down. And even when I do that, make that decision, sometimes the world still finds ways to just kind of get at me. But it's different because like I've made this conscious decision where like I can now redirect my focus and be like, I'm going to live in God's victory. So doing that, I recommend first hopping right into the Bible, and which is all truth and never changes, and looking at verses that have the word victory in it. So I'm going to give you one verse really quickly, and it's 1 John 5, 4, and it says, For every child of God, so all of us, every child of God defeats this evil world, so like as in defeats, like overcomes it, like we're able to get through it, we're able to manage it and make our way through it till we get to heaven. For every child of God defeats this evil world, and we achieve this victory, so we achieve this victory over the world, over sin, temptation, our circumstances, everything that comes our way, through our faith. And so, this verse really hit me, because that's really where it starts. It starts in our faith in God. It starts that we, and faith, faith means believing in the promises of God. Chad Bryan. I have to give him credit so I'm not plagiarizing. That's a Chad Bryan definition. But that's, it's so true. Faith is believing in the promises of God. And one of God's promises is that he's going to give us victory over this world and over the things of this world. And so I recommend every morning saying, I'm going to live in victory and then starting a Bible plan. There's a lot of Bible plans on victory. <laughs> starting a Bible plan on the Bible app, just like looking up verses with the word victory, praying to God to fill you with his spirit, and then praying to God that you'd help him, you'd, he'd help you to live in his victory. And those are just, like, little ways to start. Wells? Um, definitely being in, like, a small group or, like, having someone to talk to definitely helps. All right. So that is a really brief thing of what I have to say on victory. And if you continue to tune in, you'll, I'll talk about, like, the things I've 
done and the things I do and what I've learned and how to continue to live in Christ's victory. But in the next, <laughs> in this upcoming week, I want to challenge all of you to live in Jesus's victory. And so I challenge you to wake up every morning and say, I'm going to live in victory over this because whatever you're going through, we are all going through something. Um, and so pick what you're going through. Say, I'm going to live in victory over this. And then pray about it. Really dive into the word about it. Um, look up verses. Start Bible plans about like what you're going through or about victory or maybe even about God's promises. And just really like strive to live in victory this week. And then let me know. You know, hit me up. Tell me how that's changed things, what that's done for you, what that's been like, because I really want to know. And if you feel like nothing's changed at all, I want to hear that too so we can talk about it. But I genuinely want to challenge you to this this week. And remember, a big thing is faith. And so if you're sitting there like, yeah, I'll do it, but like, I don't believe anything's going to happen. And then like, you're like, nothing's happening. You're like, I'm going to be like, well, maybe it's your attitude we should fix first. And so if you really do, I don't think, I, I mean, I don't think any of you are going to have that attitude problem. I've just talked to people who've had that attitude problem and I'm like, well, there's the issue, buddy. Um, but if faith really is an issue for you, which I've definitely struggled with faith before, to be honest, be real with God. It's really God, like, I don't think, I don't think, I don't believe that you can actually do this. I don't believe you can change this. I don't believe you can help me with this. Just be real with him and he will... He will change your heart and he will completely show you that he is strong enough to handle it. He just wants you to be real with him. He just wants a relationship with you. That is my challenge to you this week. Um, yes. I can't wait to hear about it. I can't wait for the rest of these videos and to see how God continues to grow all of us and change all of us and work in all our lives. I love you all so much. If you have anything you want to talk about, you know that I am here. Hit me up. I love talking. Alright, that was a cool video. Yeah. <laughs> Gardener out. <laughs>